In this lesson, I'll show you two examples on how to write resonance structures. A resonance structure is simply an alternate Lewis structure for a given ion or molecule. In question number one, we're asked to write the Lewis structure for nitrate, and that has the chemical formula NO3 minus, and we're expected to include the resonance structure. I'll start by creating the Lewis structure, and nitrogen is less electronegative than oxygen, so the oxygens will surround the nitrogen, nitrogen being in the central position. Next, the valence electrons for nitrogen are five, and there's only one nitrogen, so five times one. The valence electrons for oxygen are six, there's three of them, so we have five plus 18, that's 23, and notice that this molecule is negative, so we will add an extra electron to the sum here, so we have 24 to work with. Now that we found 24, we can start by placing two bonding electrons between each pair of atoms. So I'll put an electron here, here, between these two and these two. Six minus 24 is 18, we have 18 left. Now for the rest, we will distribute them along the terminal atoms, which are these oxygen atoms first. In other words, the outermost atoms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. This oxygen atom has a complete octet. Notice that it has eight. This one has a complete octet, and so does this. Unfortunately, nitrogen does not. It has one, two, three, four, five, six. So what can happen is, this oxygen can form a double bond with nitrogen. So these two can be shared, and these two can be shared, giving us a structure that looks like this. Oxygen with nitrogen, a double bond with this oxygen, and a single bond with this one. Then. Just as before, when we looked at Lewis structures with polyatomic ions, we put this in brackets and put that negative. Now, of course, this could have happened with the relationship between these two atoms. And we can represent that as a double bond with this oxygen and single bonds with these two. Or it could have happened with these two. And we can show this with these double arrows. That right there is the Lewis structure for nitrate. Now let's try nitrite, NO2 minus. Nitrogen is the lesser of the two atoms' electronegativity, so we'll write down nitrogen in the middle, oxygen to its sides. Nitrogen has five valence, oxygen has six. Six times two is 12, 12 plus five is 17. Also, the polyatomic ion is negative, so we'll add an extra electron, making it 18. We'll put in electrons here and here, so they both have single bonds. That makes it 14 left. And we'll distribute those 14 electrons along the terminal atoms, which in our case are these oxygen. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That makes 18 electrons. This has a complete octet. That does, but this doesn't. It only has six electrons. To rectify this situation, what can happen is these two electrons and these two electrons can make a double bond. As a result, you end up with oxygen and these two electrons are in their own orbital. These electrons make a double bond, so we can write that as two lines, nitrogen. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for oxygen. Nitrogen so far has one, two, three, four, five, six, and we still have a single bond there, so we'll just keep it that way, seven, eight. This oxygen also has eight. That's one resonance structure, but it could have also happened over here. So we can repeat this structure so that the double bond occurs with that second oxygen, like this. And there you have it. That is how to write resonance structures.